Hello everyone, Cup here and welcome back to some more Mechabello. Let's spectate some gamers and see what they are up to today. First match I found here is from B-Man. I've covered this person before against DK. Uh, blue is Marksman Specialist with Fang, Sledgehammers, the Marksman obviously and Arclights. And red is Rhino Specialist with Arclights and Phoenixes. Probably also some Chaff, I didn't see, it died too quickly. Uh, blue with a very strong start here by the way. It's already so well rounded. There's Chaff, there's good Chaff clear with both Sledgehammers as, as well as Arclights. Sledgehammer is also tanky to a degree and that one marksman can just one shot everything and also take out air. Heavy armor for blue. Also really good items for the rhino here. So photon or heavy armor or anti-interference could all be good here. For red, let's see what they decide on and the heavy armor. And yeah, red also has Crawlers as chaff. Adding more crawlers. And in general. Oh, and there are crawlers in the flank here as well. And red is, by the way, positioning to a degree aggressively, which makes sense as Rhino Specialist. Most people like to play it more aggressive. Uh, when your positioning is a bit forward like this, usually you can then put your Rhino in the front here as well, maybe in the middle even, and then mobile beacon it towards one of the towers or something. That's uh, something people like to do. But with the positioning here of blue, maybe they already prepared for this, maybe that is why they are positioned centered like this. Um, they want to be maybe pro uh, prepared for the Rhino in the middle, so it can't get mobile beaconed towards the towers. Uh, however, left side was open here and a single pack of Phoenixes with jump drive from red could come in here on the left and take down the tower. And the right flank was open as well and the crawlers came in too, so positioning wise red outplaying blue here at the moment. Gotta take down this guy though, and they did. Phoenix is leveled, or potentially can level. Couple of fangs, not going to be enough to take down the phoenixes. And Rhino coming down. Amplifying core for blue. Some good items here as well, once again. Could pick the enhancement module and do some economy shenanigans. Upgrading the phoenixes for example, and then selling the phoenixes. And red is picking the enhancement module. The heavy armor obviously goes onto the rhino. And yeah, Phoenix is getting upgraded. Let's see if they also get sold or not. They definitely get repositioned and crawlers are getting the replicate upgrade. Where are they now? Oh, right here. Put to the main army behind the uh, rhino and another rhino is getting bought. Where is it going? In front of these crawlers, very well played. And very important because this was countered now with an arc light, but the arc light is going to get stuck on the rhino, and actually, this is going to get run over here. Red definitely has experience playing aggressive like this. I know that for a fact, but also you can see it here. They know what they are doing. And yeah, this rhino is going to tank a lot. This level 3 marksman is the biggest problem probably, but it's going to get stuck a bit at least on some crawlers before it can shoot the rhino. 
And yeah, flank is coming in as well. And the sentry already hit some crawlers here in the front, so it's not going to take care of the flank here. What is this rhino doing? <laughs> it was just moonwalking back and forward multiple times. Uh, looked funny. But yeah, um, blue getting run over here. Not able to defend this. Um, but also, I gotta say, the damage here is not ideal against rhinos right now, especially this level 2 rhino with heavy armor. And that was to be expected, or actually blue knew that this was coming. Blue uh, knew that red is rhino specialist as well as uh, that red picked the heavy armor. So could have prepared a little better for some different type of damage. Higher damage that is. To take this one down. That being said though, red is not making it easy because red is pressuring on multiple fronts and once again also going to this flank and blue is thinking this is covered because of the sentry but the sentry is going to get tanked by the rhino and then this will just come in here. I'm not sure if the rhino dies, if a spawning in rhino dies to sentry or not. Either way the phoenixes will definitely come in and take the tower here and here we go this is proper damage for sure against rhinos and rhinos now also getting photon coating so this damage is really needed this one is going to go down and no rhino did not die to the sentry here sentry at the bottom here good to take down the crawlers but the rhino still coming in and left flank also coming in and the front is getting run over now, also crawlers coming in with replicate obviously and they are going to take down the melting point, completely overwhelmed. Other tower falling as well. Yeah, blue is having a rough time here. Red really playing well. This type of aggression, red is very experienced and this type of centered defense uh, not ideal here, with the flanks being so open and everything. War Swarm coming down for both players. And both players actually not currently set up in a way that they could defend a flank or a Wasp Swarm in the back. And both players are putting it there. However, red is just picking the fortification upgrade on the towers so the wars will take forever to take down these towers especially when they split up this way they are going to split up between the two towers i think at least some it's more on the right but i i think some will still go left especially with the crawlers here they might get attracted to the crawlers you will see and more melting points coming down to take on those rhinos also now positioning some units and some flanks, especially here to slow down the flank, at least this flank. The other flank is still bad and it's still going to come in here. So the right side still looks like it's going to get overrun overall. Also obviously the wasps here, still a problem. They will take down the towers I'm pretty sure. And here we go. Also temporary speed picked so everything moves in so much quicker. And yeah, right side is already in and already taking the tower. That was like instant. So quickly. And both towers falling and the wasps here completely useless. No way they can take down these towers. These fortified towers. And yeah, rhino crawler. Just smashing everything. Crawler so good at distracting with the replicate obviously and Rhino so tanky and also so high DPS once they get close to a melting point or something and yeah <laughs> um, Blue just had enough uh, but it probably was also enough damage there were I think three Rhinos or something and a ton of crawlers maybe I'm not sure actually might have been enough damage but even if not, uh, blue had enough. 
this was not looking good for blue the entire match and I imagine it was quite frustrating to play this. Uh, but yeah, GG well played by red for sure. Well played aggression. Rhino Crawler can be really really strong. And let's see if we can spectate another one. Uh, let's spectate B-Man once again. See if they are going aggressive again and also if this opponent is better able to deal with this. Uh, no Rhino Specialist this time though for B-Man. Blue is Heavy Armor Specialist with Crawlers and Steel Vaults and yeah, Red is Supply Specialist with Crawlers and Phoenixes. And Crawler Steel Ball is also kind of a classic aggressive start. So whenever you see your opponent with Crawler and Steel Vaults, I feel like there's a high chance that they are going to position like this aggressively on one side it happens definitely it more often than not i feel like 75 percent or something with this start or even more they go aggressive in my experience and arc lights added on red side and also on a blue side here wait did you only get one arc light did he save 100 credits? Maybe. Okay. Crawlers are still distracting the steel balls for quite a while. Is it going to be enough? Steel balls getting the tower now, but yeah, overall it doesn't matter anyways because there are phoenixes and the phoenixes will end this round. For red. And yeah, blue did save money. Maybe wants to be able to pick an item and also unlock Mustangs and buy two packs of Mustangs or something. And yeah, <laughs> that is exactly what happened. So item was picked, laser sight here and two packs of Mustangs coming in. So this is very standard kind of crawler in the front and steel ball Mustang stuff. Um, we will see if this is going to be enough to beat B-Man. B-Man definitely a veteran in this game. And this is such a standard strat that I feel like B-Man knows how to handle this. But let's see. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, but already we can see the crawlers here with Mobile Beacon are really strong against this because they leash all these units and pull them away and delay their push into the tower here for quite some time this is actually really good um this can can do a lot and also they clump up more so if you have any type of aoe damage um there's only for now there are only arc lights here but if you have any other type of aoe damage or storm callers or anything they will hit so much more when you put this mobile beacon crawlers here and they clump up Yeah, they, they get delayed here and also on the left side, Phoenixes were placed with the uh, jump drive and laser side. Tower was completely open. As well as some crawlers here once again in the flank also. Coming in, not covered. Red is not just taking this aggression. Red is aggressing back, basically. So... That's obviously a downside of going aggressive on one side. You are not set up in a way where you can defend your own towers properly. And B-Man knows that. Orbital also really strong against this. All units clumped up. It's going to take down so much.
Mobile Beacon Crawlers once again. Skip for blue. Phoenixes getting repositioned. Sentry Missile to defend the flank here now. And some Mustangs on the left to defend against the Phoenixes that are not here anymore. But yeah, you can't you don't know because of a jump drive, they can be anywhere. They could stay here. And you gotta be able to take down anything. And here is what I said. Stormcrawlers can be really good here with mobile beacon crawlers to clump up the units and delay the units. Two packs of stormcrawlers here and it's close together so the bubble can sh shield everything here. Um, red needs to expect the orbital as well. Blue didn't pick it but that's what the bubble is for just in case. And these stormcrawlers are going to hit quite a lot. Well, these ones are actually distracted by some flank crawlers for a bit. But these ones taking down a lot of crawlers, also some steel boards. But yeah, um, <laughs> Orbital anyways uh, already cleaned up pretty much everything. Uh, left side was open now though and the single pack of Mustangs could come in here. So no defense on this side by red. However, yeah, Stormcrawlers against Mustangs, pretty good it turns out. Very clean defense so far. By red. Both players skipping. And once again, Replicate Crawlers coming in. B-Man seems to really like Replicate Crawlers. And they are really good. There's not the strongest trash clear right now, not the strongest uh, chaff clear. Mustangs not that great. And only one arc light here. And yeah. Replicate Corollas can definitely run over this and be a big, big problem. Let me also vote for red, get some free points. <laughs> I'm confident in red here. I don't think you can beat veterans with these types of standard strategies at this point. It's been out for too long and people know how to counter this now. As you can see, now oil is coming down as well. Also really, really strong against this. This mobile beacon once again. Uh, replicate crawlers are going to be a big problem as well. More ranged mustangs coming in. Uh, more storm crawlers here on this side. And also, in general, red now positioned across the board, so left side is not as weak anymore. Tower is not going to fall as quickly. And yeah, oil clumping up because of mobile beacon and then also storm callers shooting at this. It's so, <laughs> it's so strong. Uh, kind of a massacre, to be honest. However, the left side coming in once again, taking down the tower. Not a ton left here. That's actually going to be a somewhat of a close round. Barrier still really strong here though, and holding. Uh, the Stormcaller is going to be able to take them out quickly enough. Uh, yeah. Definitely closer than I expected this round to be, but still once more winning the round here, red side. Subsidized Mustangs, uh, at this point I'm not sure, already 4 packs on the board if you if you really want this anymore. Senior Defense Specialist probably better for blue. 
maybe. I'm not sure if uh, Mustangs maybe can take an additional uh, missile from the Stormcrawlers or something. Might make a difference. Uh, subsidized Mustangs coming down for red though. Uh, Mustangs and subsidized Mustangs for blue as well. So still planning to spam quite a few more Mustangs. And Mustangs here for red are also really good by the way. A lot of small units, a lot of uh, Mustangs and Stormcallers go really well together because Mustangs can clean up the small straggler units that are distracting all the Stormcaller shots. It's so annoying a lot of the time when you have Stormcallers and for example they shoot a pack of Fangs and then there's one Fang left that's walking around and all four Stormcallers shoot once more uh, on that one Fang. These types of situations um, can get solved by Mustangs because they can take out all these small targets very efficiently with their very quick small attacks. So they really fill these types of gaps and make everything much more efficient. By the way, fire on the Stormcallers and the oil was still here obviously and now this side is on fire. Steelboard's holding out for a bit, but finally going down. Range Mustangs taking a bit until they actually drive into the fire though. And take out the Phoenixes and pretty much everything else except the Stormcallers here before they die. Um, Phoenixes now though on Blue's side actually making a difference here because they don't die to the fire and can take down the final storm callers. First round for blue here so maybe it's not over just yet. Maybe this is a turning point here. Nano repair kit for blue and intensive training for red. Also by the way Fire a bit problematic at the moment with these crawlers obviously, so red burned a ton of uh, their own crawlers, not the best. What could help is subterranean blitz, so the crawlers don't die to the fire as quickly and can actually go through patches of fire without dying at all. Leveled Mustangs here now across the board. What is the nano repair kit going on I'm wondering. Maybe going for uh, Overlord in the future with Photon. That also goes with this kind of strategy pretty well. Putting it here and then it gives photon emission here to all these units. More Mustangs on red side as well. Also Mustangs with range. This game almost feels like it's a game from the previous patch where everyone played all Mustangs. It doesn't seem that way anymore, at least from the past few days, as far as I've seen. Mustang on Mustang violence here. L more levels though on these Mustangs as well as uh, this pack especially with the laser sight is so far back that it dis doesn't die to the fire that quickly. And also with the Phoenix back up able to take down the final Stormcallers and Phoenixes once again here. On red side. So let's see what red is coming up with now to get back into this. It seems to be slipping. Ok, 
Skip for blue. Nothing that important. Yeah, skip for red as well. Missile device specialist could be good actually against steel bolts. Because uh, the damage. Uh, one sentry could take down these level 2 steel bolts, for example. Theoretically, but also would need to hit those. And with the crawlers in front, it's not that easy. More levels on the phoenixes. Might also go need range on the phoenixes. If uh, red wants to keep up with blue's phoenixes. However, red is deciding to go for fortresses. And so is blue, by the way. Interesting. I kind of expected overlords. But yeah, I guess too many ranged mustangs now. Doesn't really make that much sense. But yeah, not the best targets on the board for fortresses if you are looking at it from blue's side. Uh, actually, there, <laughs> there were only like basically only the arc lights that were really good targets for the fortress. But now, obviously, there are also fortresses on red side, and now the fortress here has some work to do actually. Fire on the ground and Mustangs taking down reds, uh, blues, crawlers quickly enough so the fortress could actually focus on the steel vaults. However, left side definitely didn't win and the fortress still alive and Mustangs coming in now and taking the tower. Right side is also really close but Mustangs once again mowing down everything with the additional range from the laser side especially. This pack is very problematic. And it is actually the top damage dealer by by blue here. I really don't like uh, seeing Steel Ball Mustang players win, to be honest. But I'm very glad uh, they came back. It was very one-sided for the first like five rounds or something. But now I'm actually curious how Red is going to solve this. Doesn't seem uh, it's not easy at this point. The Mustangs already have these levels, that's very problematic for red. Level 3 Mustangs with range, level 4 Mustang with range and laser sight. This one is so scary. Orbital coming down once again, but now there are barriers protecting most of it. And another fortress for red. Uh, for blue, I mean, sorry. Uh, red still deciding. Red still at 1300 credits. So red is thinking really hard right now. Putting... What is on here? Oil and smoke, I think? Oil and smoke here on the left. Leveling this fortress and buying another... F or two more fortresses. So mass fortress now, kind of, and punches, interesting. Let's see if this is going to be the solution. And it looks very close actually it looks very good now <laughs> it <laughs> apparently it was the solution left side won pretty hard now and right side is also winning especially now with the left tower going down final mustangs are getting cleaned up and how much damage is this yep wrecked <laughs> gg well played well played um i did not see the punches being so strong here but it was the right call. Interesting. I did not. Uh, I did not see this myself. Uh, that punches would solve this. Very, very nice. Punches taking out obviously the steel balls as well as winning the one v one against the opponent's fortresses, I guess. And air was already solved. The phoenixes with the anti-air barrage on the fortresses. Fire on the ground still doing a lot. 
as well. Yeah. All right. Well played. Well played. Uh, good comeback in the end by B Man. Well played. All right. This was it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.